sore right big toe. Here is Houston. Yes. And the Knicks. Marley for three. Yes. They're not making much noise. 24,000 in here. Glenn Rice has been on fire. Point of set with room and with two. What's going on? DDP coming back with another one. Let's get it. We're going to talk some hoops today. We're going to talk some sharpshooters and some underrated scores from the 90s and the early 2000s. Yes, I love doing videos like this because we know Jordan, he pretty much, you know, dominated the, you know, 90s, especially the early 90s and the latter part of the 90s. But some guys that was putting in work, you know, some sharpshooters, underrated guys that, you know, put in work that, you know, people kind of overlook. But I'm going to talk about some sharpshooters, underrated scores from the, you know, 90s, early 2000s, and seen the thumbnail. You've seen the thumbnail. These guys, they can shoot the rock. Smooth. They can shoot the rock. And let's we'll start with Allen Houston. Allen Houston, he was very smooth. Played with a few teams. Played with Detroit and the Knicks. But Allen Houston battled some injuries. That's what really held him back. He was a Two-time All-Star. All these guys made at least one All-Star. Made one, had one All-Star appearance. But Allen Houston, he was smooth. His game was smooth. He had the three-point, had the mid-range. Allen Houston, he could put his head down, stop on a dime, and pull up from from the mid-range. Allen Houston, he could. He could post up. You know, guards that you know, not his size, smaller guards, and turn around over that. Over his shoulder, cash money for Allen Houston. Straight up and down on his release, his jumper, about 6'6". Allen Houston, so smooth. Had game. His game was pure, Allen Houston. Made an NBA Finals appearance. Lost to the Spurs, the Knicks, but sidekick was Latrell Sprewell. You know, but Allen Houston had game. Always averaged around, you know, 18 to 22 points. In, in between there, you know, 18 to 22 points per game, Allen Houston, but... Two-time All-Star, he had gang, Allen Houston. Ball with New York for nine years, Allen Houston. But he had game. Then you had Thunder Dan Marley. Yes, he could heat up quick. Thunder Dan, he was a good defender as well, you know, Dan Marley. But he could heat up quick. He could heat up quick. And they made an NBA Finals appearance in 93, lost to Michael Jordan and the Bulls. His last three people before he took a break. Cause they beat the Lakers, then they beat Portland, then they beat the Suns. But Dan Marley, he could heat up quick. He couldn't. He was sneaky athletic as well. And he could shoot from deep, Dan Marley. Played with Barkley, Kevin Johnson. You know that Suns team? They were they were turned up. They were. But ran into Jordan. But Thunder Dan, he had game. Mid-range, three-point. You know, shot fake. Pull up in the mid-range. Dan Marley, catch and shoot. Quick release, he could bomb away, Dan Marley. He could. And he, like I say, he was a good defender. He would guard the opposing team's best, you know, perimeter player, Dan Marley would. And he was a tough player, he was. He played hard. Like I say, he was he was very active, just an active player, Dan Marley. I liked him a lot. He had Glenn Rice. Glenn Rice. Played with a few teams, played with Miami, played with the Hornets, won a championship with the Lakers. Glenn Rice, so smooth. He didn't waste any dribbles, Glenn Rice. One, two dribbles, pull up. He could catch and shoot. You know, Glenn Rice, he had game. Sneaky athletic as well. Glenn Rice, about 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, like I said, he, he squared up to that basket, it's cash. When these, all these guys, you know, that I'm talking about today, when they screw up to that basket, it's cash money. You can book it. Glenn Rice straight up and down on his, on his release, on his jumper, you know, fundamental, on his jump shot, straight up and down. Great flick of the wrist, Glenn Rice. Like I say, he's a small forward. Jordan respected Glenn Rice. He liked Glenn Rice a lot. He did. He, you know, battled Glenn Rice on his way to the NBA Finals. But... Yeah, Jordan, Glenn Rice, like I said, they had a connection. You saw it during the All-Star game in Cleveland. You know, they 
had a good connection, Glenn Rice and Michael Jordan. But he had game. He was smooth, Glenn Rice. He'd give you, you know, 20 to 25 points per game, Glenn Rice in his prime. You know, he was a bucket. He was. You had Jeff Hornacek to Jazz. And one thing I can say, Dan Marley and Jeff Hornacek, they lost to Michael Jordan in the NBA Finals. Jeff Hornacek lost back-to-back, -back, I want to say 97 to 98. But he gets square to the basket, it's cash money, Jeff Hornacek. He was a crafty player. You know, play a little point guard as well, Jeff Hornacek. He could play with John Stockton, you know, Carl Malone, Byron Russell, that squad. But Jeff Hornacek, man, he had a jumper. And I know this vividly because, like I said, Michael Jordan was always my favorite player, you know, coming up as a kid even when I was 7, 8. I still remember, you know, I'm a 90s kid, but I still remember those NBA Finals. And I just remember if Jeff Hornacek was open, it was cash. I used to say, don't leave him open. Even Stockton from the mid-range, Stockton to hit that. Like, when they doubled Malone down low, sometimes, like, if Robin was in foul trouble and they had to double Malone down low, he kicked it out to Hornacek. It was cash money. Automatic for Jeff Hornacek. But he was a crafty player, getting the paint, you know, had floaters, little runners, pull-ups. Jeff Hornacek played for a few teams, played with Phoenix as well. I want to say he played with the Kings, I think. But the years with the Jazz, you know, played six years with the Jazz, and, these guys are sharpshooters and underrated. Yes, I love videos like this because I can show my you know, true passion for the sport. Show I'm a real guru. I love this shit. You know, bring back some of these guys that people don't talk about anymore. You know, that, you know, did a lot, you know, to the game of basketball. So underrated though. Underrated, you know, sharpshooters and scores. You know, 90s and 2000s. That's what I do. I love it. Hoop talk. That's what I do. I'm going to keep more videos like this coming for sure. You know, that's Allen Houston, you know, Thunder Dan Marley, Glenn Rice, Jeff Hornacek. That's tough. That's tough right there. But let me know what y'all think. Drop some down in the comments. Keep the fire coming. I love it. That's what I do. Hoop talk, baby. You know, you can't check me anyway. We out.